knowing who your clients are and how they fit within what you want to do is probably the key to the success of your business. It's, it's understanding who it is that you want to spend your time with. And I've, and we have this thing, and I don't know if any of you have read it, but one of the major criteria for us taking on clients is they simply have to be nice people. The perfect client is someone who's engaging, somebody who you really want to be able to give uh, their project to them and for them to understand and, and communicate with you uh, what exactly it is that they want because ultimately they have to live there. I always tell people is that a house is a product and a home is a process and if you really want your home you've got to go through this process and it takes time. You have to get to know somebody you know, part of the problem with hiring clients or hiring employees is you basically have to get married before you get to date. The other thing that we hear a lot of these days is the concern for the do-it-yourself marketplace. And that, you know, clients are much more educated than they've ever been because they can go to First Dibs and they can now go to One King's Lane and they can go to these great websites and buy things. But the big difference is that it's not about stuff. It's about your eye and putting it together. And honestly, if you know, a person off the street were to walk into a fabric house, would they even know how to start or what to do? And it's, you know, we've all picked that one color and put it on the wall and said, what was I thinking? And you only have to do that one or two times to realize that the, why you hire a design professional. And it's how you communicate your skill and who you are to your clients that will make you successful in your business. It's all about relationships and it's all about confidence in who you are to do the best work you can do. I want to tell you something that I really believe in about you as a designer and your ability to um, become successful. And that is, 10 years ago I was on vacation and I was thinking about what it was that these really wonderful people that we got to work with. We feel, I feel very privileged that we've worked with some really wonderful talent. And I started thinking about what are those attributes that they each have that really set them apart? And these six things came to mind. So passion. I think you need to have a passion for what you do. It has to be in your blood. I teach at UCLA and I tell these students that if this is not in your blood and you're just here for a good time, go find a good time somewhere else because you really, it's a labor of love. People can make a lot of money in this business, but it takes time and talent and passion and all of these things. Talent, you need to find your particular talent. Even if it's not as a designer, know, how to, know what that talent is that you have and how to surround yourself. Good knowledge. I think that, one, I think the world sort of overeducated, and there are a lot of overeducated derelicts out there. But honestly, I think that good education is very important. But having good knowledge of your industry and what it is you do is as important as sort of overeducating yourself about any one thing. Um, and that leads sort of to common sense. I think the world is way too hard to navigate without it. Um, discipline, the ability to take something every day and move it forward. And I think this is the one thing that sets people apart because they're able to move things. People come up with brilliant ideas every day, but the ones that know how to take that idea and move it forward, honestly, are the ones that get things done. And my favorite, chutzpah, which comes from the time that I was 22 years old and I brought in that office manager um, <laughs> situation, but it's taking risk. It's having the guts to do something. And those, of, those people who take risks, um, I think, take it so much further. Um, and if you're always safe, you don't get that opportunity um, to take it that step.